It feels like somebody wants to sell me something! <laughs> I told you he was on to us! What's up guys, it's how Nick here, and welcome back to another Smashing Sunday. Today, I'm going to talk about my thoughts for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Now, this game is coming out in December uh, 6th, I think, or 8th. I forget exactly the date, but I'm not really sure if I'm going to buy this game or not. A lot of people are saying that it's going to get a lot of uh, good sales and stuff and that it's going to be really popular but I don't know if I'm going to buy it because it's really just a port in my eyes so yeah Super Smash Bros Ultimate really nothing much has changed and like the newcomers they're not many so far the game's only three months away and pretty much it's Smash 4 but with a few new things added so the game isn't out yet and we don't know everything about it like that new mode and um, some other newcomers that will probably come out but it's two months away and so far from what we've seen I'm not really interested so the newcomers that we have also aren't really newcomers we have Simon Belmont we have King K. Rule we have the Inklings and we have Ridley all four of those characters, not counting the Echo Fighters, could have been in Smash 4, but they weren't. So they're not really newcomers, they're just retrospects of newcomers, I guess. Because Inklings was a Mii Fighter costume, which could have been added as DLC for Super Smash Bros. for Wii U, but wasn't. Uh, Simon could have been even in Smash Bros. Uh, on the N64, but he wasn't. Uh, King K. Rool could have been in Smash 64, but he wasn't. And same thing with Ridley. Ridley could have been in Smash 64, but he wasn't. So all these newcomers really aren't newcomers. They're just characters that should have been in the game originally, but was never put into the game. So yeah, they're just like, all right, we'll put them in just so that people are, are happy and stuff like that. And that's why they also added like Snake and Wolf and all those other characters that should have been in Smash 4, but wasn't. And so there's really no kind of incentive of me buying this game. Um, if they do add a single player mode and something similar to uh, Subspace Emissary or something like that, then maybe I'd buy it. But so far, we only had newcomers that really should have been in Smash 4 but weren't. Really makes me kind of upset. And to me right now, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is basically the... Uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe of Mario Kart 8. So sure, they're adding a few new modes, they're adding um, a few new characters, some Echo Fighters and stuff like that, but nothing really major. You know, Smash 4, I don't know exactly how many newcomers they uh, had, but there was a lot of newcomers, and most of them were newcomers that were kind of introduced in the Wii and DS era. While well, these newcomers that we had are pretty retro. The only one that's really new, I guess you could say, is the Inkling. But even that really isn't that new because, like I said, could have been Smash 4. Just like how his Mii costume was in Smash 4. It's the same thing with King K. Rool. He had a Mii costume, but yet he was not added in Smash 4. So, yeah, that really makes me upset. Um, now, we still don't know about the single player, like I said. But other than that, it's really just the definitive version of Smash 4. There's nothing really, like, amazing or new about it. Like, Smash 4 for Wii U and 3DS really brought a lot to the table, you know? There's, there was a ton of newcomers, DLC, uh, online was fixed, a lot of stuff was changed, and it made the game, like, fresh and new. And people even played Smash 4 competitively, unlike Brawl which was kind of just bad because of like tripping and stuff and that's why people made Project M and yet it was like such a step up from Brawl but here we have Smash Bros Ultimate and it's just like okay you added a few new things but nothing really game-changing you know they added a few new like techs techniques and stuff like that 
that was kind of brought from like melee like now you can like air dodge with movement or whatever um you can also do like some other like attacks like you, you can do i think was it down smash like after dashing or something like that i don't know the specifics because i'm not really that like into the competitive sense of smash brothers but from what we've seen so far these new modes should have been in smash 4 and they should have been in the newcomers too but yet they weren't and that annoys me and makes me kind of not want to buy this game because everything that's pretty much going to be in smash ultimate might actually be in smash 4 just because of the modding fan base just like how um i forget what game they have for uh the modding fan base for smash 4 oh yeah no the super smash Bros. uh brawl that has like a mod that you can actually play Super Smash Bros. For, uh, like Wii U kind of style, and it's actually pretty good. Um, anyway though, go going back on uh, the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe of this uh, version, basically Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, what they did was basically the same thing that Smash Bros. Ultimate is doing. So Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, they fixed the battle mode, which they could have done as DLC. They added like the Inklings and um, a couple other new characters, which they could have done as DLC or even include them in the beginning, like King Boo and Dry Bones and all that stuff. They could have been added in the beginning of the game, but they decided not to for some reason. And um, they added like the Boo item and the Cape Feather, and that was pretty much it. And they could have added all that stuff as DLC for Mario Kart 8, but instead they made it into Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Now I bought Mario Kart 8 Deluxe just because having Mario Kart 8 on the go is fun. But I have Smash Brothers on the go with the 3DS. So I can play Super Smash Brothers on the go and it's pretty much the same thing as Smash Ultimate. Sure, I can't play with like the person next to me unless I have a 3DS, but it's still Smash Brothers on the go and Mario Kart 8, the only reason that I got it on the Switch was to have it on the go, but I already have that with Smash Brothers, so that just makes my point of not even buying this game again. So, yeah. Anyway, th that's kind of my thoughts. Um, let me know what you guys think. I really don't know if I'm gonna buy this game or not. We still have like what three months left, so who knows? Maybe this uh, new mode or whatever might make me buy this game, or maybe um, they'll ha add like a really cool newcomer that I might buy the game for because yeah right now we only have four newcomers not counting the echo fighters and like I said they could have just been added in smash 4 but they weren't um but yeah those are my thoughts let me know let me <laughs> I can't even speak let me know what you guys think um in the comments below but those are my thoughts on smash ultimate and that's why I am kind of spectacle about whether buying this game or not but let me know what you guys think. Like I said, I said it like three times already. But um, thank you guys all for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And stay tuned for more Smashing Sundays, I guess, right here on Town Nick. If you guys have any mod suggestions, also let me know. But until then, stay tuned for that. And stay tuned for other things gaming right here on Town Nick. Bye.